Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Age of Decadence. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as the plot thickens in the city of Madaran? Is it Madaran? Where? Madaran, right? Pretty sure. Anyway, uh, soon enough we should be leaving, because uh, what happened last episode was that I killed the leader of the house that rules Madaran, or whatever this this city's name is. And um, after after that, we just hit low for a couple of days, and now we're gonna go back to Levir and ask him what is up. What is up, my man? About time you showed up. It's a new day out there. Serenus rules the city now. Who thinks that he does? Serenus. Uh, who the hell is Serenus? Uh, I think Serenus is the... Oh, well, he might be either the heir to Gaius, which I think... He is, or he might be the leader of the Imperial um, Imperial Legion, but I think he's the heir, the, the, like the, his cousin or something. Anyway, or thinks that he does, says Levier. Pefalo's men are keeping order. Not that anyone's unhappy about Galas' sudden departure, except for the boatmen, of course, but they had it coming. So who rules the city now? Come with me, I'll show you. Okay, lead the way. Surrounded by guards, Levier, Levier walks through the city like a sa. Sha? What the hell is a sha? People scrambling to get out of his way, only now you begin to realize his status of power. He takes you to a villa overlooking the palace district. The villa is surrounded by the Aurelian legionnaires, but they too step aside when Levier approaches. Leaving his own guards to wait outside, Levier goes through the door without hesitation. You see two men standing in the middle room. They glance at you, then look at Levier questioningly. She earned her right to be here, says Levier without elaborating. Oh, he's talking about me. Uh, it's not hard to figure out what he's referring to. Klepta, meet Lord Senna and Master Stravas. They rule Madaran now, thanks to you. Except for the slums, says Stravas. As agreed, the slums are yours and we lay no claims on it. As long as order is maintained, we don't want chaos and we don't want any spillover. Keep it clean. So let's learn Senna, which I believe was one of the supporters of Gaius? It wa he was. Huh. So he was working with the Thieves Guild. What? Huh. And uh, the other one? What was the other one? Stravas. Oh, excuse me. Uh, hiccup right there. But Stravas? Isn't Stravas the leader of the Commercium? Hmm. Guess I'll check the uh, glossary in between after this dialogue. Now, what about the situation in Ganazar? We want it handled fast, says Senna. Klepto will take care of it, says Levier. That's why I brought her here. Just tell her what he what needs to be done. Very well, not Senna. The Aurelian forces are heading toward Ganazar as we speak. Castle Ganazar was built to last. The siege will take too long and cost too much. We can't afford that. We need a decisive victory that will reassure the people, the good people of Madoran, that their city is in the right hands. So how can I be of service? In exchange for certain considerations, Master Levier has agreed to put his guild's resources, especially, specifically those in Ganazar, at our disposal. As Master Levier's representative, who has his full confidence, you will oversee and coordinate this cooperation until the city is taken. Any questions? Yeah, I didn't even know we had the a thieves' guild in Ganazar. Um, Still, why is Ganazar under, under siege? Lord Meru has broken an old treaty signed by his grandfather, giving us no choice but to act. Lest we look weak and indecisive. Personally, I don't care about old ruins, and if Meru wants, wanted them, he should have negotiated and afford, offered concessions. Perhaps he's merely testing our resolve, in which case he won't, fi he won't, he won't find it lacking. Your resolve? Okay. So, uh, what about the boatmen? Meru expelled the boatmen from Ganazar months ago. If you're asking about the situation here, leave it to us. We'll handle it. So what do you want me to do? Report to Legatus Hognon. Hagnon. Oh, I know this guy. Don't I? I think I do. Then find a way to enter the city and make contact with the local guildmaster and work with him to deliver the city to the city. Huh, and if he refuses, then you are to replace him. Ganazar must fall and your guild's cooperation, of which we've been assured, is critical. Do what needs to be done. You have our confidence. Okay, so consider it done. Let's return to the guild. We have a new quest. Ganazar is our next destination. What's in your mind, Klepta? Speak. Uh, well, I never thought I'd see the day. The world is always changing. We either adapt to the changes or die, like the snake that can't cast his, its skin. So who's the guild master in Ganazar? Glabrio. <sighs> he won't give you problems. As much as he might dislike taking orders from you, the red confrontation aren't his style. He makes a good number two, but he doesn't have what it takes to run everything. So what do you know about Meru? 
He made a lot of noise when he renounced his lordship and proclaimed himself the first acolyte. But this can mean just about anything. Could be a clever ploy, could be insanity, could be boredom. Never judge a man before you talk to him. Yeah, the first acolyte of what? Probably the same thing he was the lord of. A rose by any name is still a rose, no? Until I see him uh, re renouncing his possessions as well, I won't pay much attention to what he's doing. Yeah, you're wise in that, Levir. You're wise in that. Alright, I'll go get ready. Okay, that we got our reputation with the 40 thieves got us something else. Before you go, remember that jar you got for me? It contains the cure for my illness, or so I was told. My lower master knows what she's doing, but I want you to there in case something goes wrong. Of course. Okay, so what exactly did I get for him? Was that the first quest that we did here in, in Madaran? I think it was. Okay, so we're in a dungeon. I have lots of money right now. I didn't I, I didn't have that at the beginning of the episode, did I? Hmm. You follow Levier down into an old passageway under the city, leading into a network of even older catacombs. Levier navigates them with the confidence of someone who has made the trip many times before. It takes you a quarter of an hour to arrive at Levier's destination. You see a large sarcophagus, standing in the middle of a large chamber lit by torches. The chamber itself is plain and doesn't have a clearly discernible purpose. Most likely, the sarcophagus was brought here for safekeeping and then forgotten. The sarcophagus itself is a misshapen rag rectangular container made of grey metal, with uh, strange cylindrical extensions sticking out of an odd, at odd angles. It's ready, says a young woman, standing in front of the sarcophagus. Are you sure? asks Levy, his voice strangely anxious. I checked everything several times, replies the woman. I followed my father's notes to the letter. Are you certain that we can test it? I've waited a long time for this moment, but I've never thought that I've had to trust this machine, uh, with, trust this machine blindly. What if... You saw the research, says the woman without any empathy. A jar contains a single dose and we only have one. I wouldn't be surprised if, it, if uh, it's all that's left. Okay. But you're certain that it will cure me? Says Levier, looking straight at her as if trying to see any signs of uncertainty in her eyes. Yes, says the woman without any hesitation. The machine's cur curative properties are well documented. It works on a level unseen to the human eye and thus well beyond the capabilities of our best healers. Whatever it is that causes you to cough blood will be removed. The damage done to your organs healed. Alright, let's do it. Klepta, make sure that everything goes smoothly. My life is in your hands now. The woman smirks. The woman presses a button, so this is the machine. I That's my crossbow. That's me, right there. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly what's happening. Let's see. The woman presses a button and the machine's... And the machine's hat slowly opens. Levier takes off his armor and gets inside. As the hatches goes down, something inside the machine whirs to life and the woman presses another button. Who are you? My name is Iola. I'm a lore master. Aren't you too young to be a lore master? Let's just say it runs in the family. What do you know about this machine? It's a healing machine from the old days. Levy found it a long time ago and figured that it was very valuable since someone went to such lengths to keep it safe. My father worked for the guild, so Levy asked him to figure out what it does. My father spent a long time down here with this machine. It was all he talked about and it was all I've heard about growing up. So parts were missing, but he managed to recover them. After all, there's nothing the guild can't get it again can't get if they know where to get it. Hmm. So a healing machine. Someone would go through a, all that trouble for a healing machine? Not every wound can be cleaned and stitched, says Yola, with uh, contempt for your ignorance. The old stories speak of weapons that cut deeper than flesh and bone. A healer would can, who can't see the damage can't help you. This machine can. Okay, so you mentioned something about a jar? It contains a liquid that uh, was considered to be sacred and was worth a fortune after uh, the fall. This liquid is injected into one's body and works its miracles there. My father said that it's able to carry the energy of electrons into the depths of the body and bombard the nuclei of the cells, forcing them to repair the reject damage. Are you sure that healing is all it does? It's all it does now. Are you done questioning me? Well, I was just curious. Now, can you keep quiet for a moment? I'm about to inject him and I need to concentrate. Wait, wait, something's wrong. Can you open the hatch again? He seems fine, say, says Eola, but opens the hatch nonetheless. Levy seems to be in deep sleep, his chest barely rising. I don't... I don't know what to do here. You guys see? You guys see this? Are you guys watching? Or are you guys just listening to me? Uh... uh well... We've already seen that um, Klepta is deranged and crazy as hell. 
She loves killing, and uh, she she's a backstabbing whore. She, that's what she is. I mean, she isn't very whorish. She's just a bitch. That's what she is. But uh, yeah, I'm talking about my own character here. <laughs> I kind of want to kill him and use the machine myself, but I might die on that one. But if I do, I will be able to reload the save. So what? could go wrong with this, really. You flick your wrist, conjuring a blade, and stab Levy in the heart before anyone can react. What the fuck, Klepta? Says one of the Levy guard, unslinging his axe. Okay, that's what can go wrong. Prepare to die. Okay, is she gonna fight me? Well, she's squatting over there, so maybe she's, she's she needs to go to the bathroom, ba bathroom or something, I don't know. Uh, let's see, I need to poison this guy. It's gonna be a tough one. A tough one to hit. 44% chance to hit. I only have one poison. There you go. That was lucky. That was lucky as hell. So now... Okay, that was not lucky. Yeah, this is gonna be... No, I'm using piercing. Okay, that's not too bad. So I could kite him. Let's try that. Kite him a little bit. Shoot him once. Kite him a little bit. Or kite him once. Yeah. Oh, no! There... No, that... this is dead. This is death. Okay, it's fine. Fine by me. Let's reload our save. Can I can I press the key? I can. Okay. So yeah, just experimenting. That was death. That was death. So let's now kill Levier. Uh that would be interesting. That would be be very interesting, but I'm not good enough for that. I could be good enough for that. If I was ready. I could be. But since not being good enough for that is a good way to save skill points. How about I'm not good enough for that? So let's see. Let's continue on. Let's do exactly what we did before, let's see, why is Ganon desert, uh, so, what about Boatman, what do you want me to do, if he refuses, consider it done, everything is good, so, never saw that, yeah, there we go, who's the guild master, what do you know about, yeah, I'm just gonna click everything, and we are good to go, so, yeah, not, let's not kill, let's not kill, okay, is this gonna load, it is, okay, continue, 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 who are you, aren't you too young, uh, look at that. Uh-huh, just curious. So, yeah, let's just do what Lavier asks you to and let her finish the process. Yola nods and starts pressing buttons, consulting her notes every now and then. After two hours, the machine goes silent. Yola raises the hatch and checks Lavier's vitals. He's weak, but alive. Help me get him out. Get Lavier out and wait until he wakes up. What happened? Why am I out? It's done, says Yola. You were there for more than two hours. How is your chest? Any difference? Too early to say. I feel exhausted, yet somehow better. Could be wishful thinking, though. Thank you, Klepta. I knew I could count on you. Uh, you didn't know that. You didn't know that. Because for a while there, you didn't count on me. <laughs> anyway, after you sort out uh, that business in Ganesar, come back and we'll talk about your future. I have plans for this city. I've lived under the shadow of my illness for too long. Now that I'm free of it, I don't want to waste what's left of my life, lo my life lording over the slums while others rule all. So any idea what this thing might be? Gale is headed on him. We'll show him the reliquary. It's not a gemstone, says Levier after examining the reliquary. So whatever value it has... Yola, I, I think it's definitely up your alley. Take a look. It's a key to Zamedi. <gasps> really? Awesome! Awesome! So we will be able to enter Zamedi. That's fantastic. Okay, I was kind of afraid that since we didn't get um, the Inferiai location, I mean, we might get it later, but anyway. There are several studies on the nature of the key, but their results were inconclusive at best. Zamedi? A town that was destroyed during the war. There is nothing left of it except for the tower. Let me mark it on your map. If you want to take a look, just go there. Okay, thanks. Let's leave the catacombs. And that means that we are gonna leave the city of Madaran as well. We now could go to Zamedi, but you guys know what is in there. There's not much for someone who's not very well versed in lore, and I don't have ability in lore. I could bring that one up to six. That is pathetic. That is pathetic. But my critical strike, this will be able to kill the thing that appears there. I'm not gonna spoil it for you if you don't know what is in there, but um, yeah. If you do, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. But that is that in uh, Madaran. We have this thing. Of course, we can't go there. We need to go to Ganazar. We need to talk to other arena master for the next fight. You know what? I think I could go for a fight there. Hmm. I might. Mm, I think I could. I think I could. Should we go there? 
I don't know. I'm not any better than the last time I was there, so... Okay. Ready to fight? Apparently I am. Okay, we got a raider here, and he's very tough to hit, which is just perfect. I hit him, but he absorbs the damage and doesn't take shield damage, which is... Yeah, I remember now. Yep, that's not a thing that I can do. Not a thing because of the shield. I need, like... I don't even know what I need. I need piercing. I need to... T I don't really know. How do I get the shield out? Uh, I, I don't... I don't really know. I need better crossbow, though. Can I improve that to massive amounts? I can bring it up to, t t to 9, which is gonna make me, like, 50% better. Uh, yeah, that's not good enough. I kind of don't want to use my... I kind of don't want to use my... I, I don't know. Really, I don't. I really don't, because I could... Uh, well, I'll be able to be back. I'll, I'll be back later. It's fine. It is totally fine. So, let's... Since we're gonna leave the city, we're gonna go back to Terran. And... Let's see what happened here. Come on, game. Load. Load. There it is. Super VGA driver detected. That's a throwback to the old times. Wasn't around when there was VGA drivers or VGA graphic cars or whatever. Much has changed in Terran during your absence. The horde of beggars and their delicate houses are gone, replaced by an ever-expanding circle of campfires and tents. At first, the mercenaries made their camps outside the crumbling walls, and certain how far and welcome extended. But as new companies arrived, the old pushed in, realizing that to stay put would be to relinquish their claim on the vast territory. The Commercium Trading Plaza and the Daratan Compound remain off limits, but everywhere else, their petty brawling and racinous cries fill the streets. And that's pretty much what happened here, except I'm not sure that these mercenaries are actually being paid. Or uh, maybe the Commercium is paying? I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, we have a few things to do here. Uh, still to do, I should say. There is a thing that I need to get out of the... Uh, is it there? Is it there? I don't really remember. But the Imperial Guard is still around, is it? Uh, maybe not. Oh, no, it's not. We got a new guys over here. No longer people are... Uh, people are no longer crucified. Can I go in there? I can pick the lock. That's interesting. Can I, can I really go in there? Failure. Okay, so I should be able to bring that one up. Because I want lock picks. Failure. Failure! Failure? How hard can that be? What? What kind of madness is this? Why would I... I don't even know why I would need to, to pick the lock, to be honest, but still... Yeah, that was a quick save right there. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. You know what I'd like to do, really? To kill Antidus. That's what I'd like to do. Because I know it's a thing that can be done. Uh, of course it is a thing that can be done, but uh, I would like to do that. Can I get into the palace and do something? So, I'm, I'm gonna leave the city, don't worry, but I just, just want to see what is new here. I need to and Yeah, he doesn't let me in. It doesn't let me in. And by the way, this guy, this this house is only accessible as a lore master. Yeah, I was expecting to, be, to go in there later, but nope, that is only for lore masters. Where the hell am I going right now? I want to go back to... Uh, to the tavern and say hi to what was his name? Kato? Kato? I don't know. Hi! Kato, yeah, with a D. How's the big city treating you, Klepta? No complaints. Got any work for me? Not right now. With all the cell swords around, we have to tread carefully. If they catch you stealing, they will chop off your fingers along with the head, and then we'll burn down the tavern, just be sure. So how's Linus? We patched things up. So what did you offer him? Information. Okay, well, it's, it's okay. Linus, by the way, Linus is the guy, the leader of uh, the Commercium, I think. Pretty sure. Oh, by the way, let's look at our characters thing. So we now know exact. So Cassius, that's the old arm. Like we, we killed him. Let's see, Lavier, Linus. Where the hell is Linus? It doesn't say here. So Galius, Darista. It doesn't talk about the guys. Maybe I. It's because I haven't met them. Oh, there's this guy. Let's kill them. Let us kill. I I knew there was something. I knew. I knew it. Let's see, go with Barbed, there's a guy that we need to kill! Remember, unless he's not around anymore, I hope he is. Oh, he doesn't seem to be. Have we killed him? I don't think he is. Damn it. Okay, I missed my, my, missed my opportunity. That is that. Yep. Not a thing that we can come back for. Kind of a shame, really, but... It is what it is. Can I go back to Master Fang and see if he has anything new? He's not gonna have anything new, I know, but still. Hi! Nothing. 
Yeah, okay. Let's be out of here. Let's go to Ganazar. We know what to do there. It's gonna be a brand new city. Let's go world map. There we go. And to Ganazar we go. We could go to Zamadi, but that is not gonna be for right now. We're gonna try and uh, level up a little bit, you know, get a... Let's not really level up, just... Get a little bit better at our skills. Lord Galeas's untimely demise marks the end of the era of the House Aurelian's dominance in the region, leaving a massive gap in Madaran's power structure. Avoid his successor, Serena's. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. So Serena's was his uh, nephew. Now I think. Anyway, possessing. So Serena's possessing none of his uncle's strength and will cannot con begin to feel. The predictable struggle arises between the self-appointed advisors to the new Lord of Madaran, settling swiftly into a series of hasty power-sharing agreements and uneasy compromises. Feeble and ineffectual, this new rule by committee proves very agreeable to the other great houses. House Aurelian's b power bleeds away in a slow but steady trickle to the lesser houses and guilds. Without a strong leader, Madaran falls to her factions uh, as each district becomes its own feudal domain, ruled by the local lord, who establishes his own laws, levies, and a militia ready to defend the borders against the other districts. So yeah, basically, that's pretty much what happened with Kato as well. It's funny, it's funny, because Kato played such a large role in all this, and um, that basically, the thieves, the thieves don't really do much. I mean... I guess the quest is still the same, is to kill or to depose Galia, so it's not really that much of a difference, so it's kind of, uh, yeah, but still, the thieves, I was kind of surprised how the, what little role the thieves played in Terran in the overall picture. The 40 thieves are hardened by Galeas' death, but without a strong leader, the city begins to spiral down under control. While Lord Senna has every intention of honoring the deal, since he has no interest in the slums whatsoever, the palace is simply unable to control the other districts, armed militias, the Imperial Guards, and the thousand other problems the future would undoubtedly bring. The boatmen come first, seeking shelter, then Stravis bearing gifts. Stravis, I think, is the guy from the Commercium. I think. A choice between the noble-born who looked down upon him, the Imperial Guards with their own designs, and an old enemy's enemy who's practically an old friend isn't a, sing uh, isn't a difficult choice at all. Thus, Madaran is divided into three sections, an isolated palace district, the arena district, and the main gate, controlled by the Imperial Guards, and the middle controlled by the uh, alliance of thieves, alliance of thieves and merchants. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, he was. Strabus uh, is a lot... Whoa! The thieves allied with the Commercium. That's interesting. You partnered, 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 partnered up with Marcus Valla, a man of questionable methods and reputation, to recover a power armor, a fabled artifact of the olden days. Yeah, oh, that, I, the power armor. So it was a power armor. I didn't remember that from Kato playthrough. Well, I partnered up with him. That's all that matters. But I think I might have a couple of power tubes. I'm not sure, though. He sided with Regulus, aiding him in his quest to cleanse the city from Ganazar's preachers and their ilk. Yeah, I'm gonna cleanse the city from Ganazar's preachers. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't really remember who I aided. Oh, it was the guy. Remember the guy right when we entered Madaran? The guy that killed or try was trying to kill the preacher? Yeah. Beyond the embers of dying campfire, your first, your first mistook, you first mistook the lights of the holy city for a new constellation. So high were they above the horizon. Over the next two days, the craggy profile of Castle Ganazar sets the caravan's course as if it's as if it were a lighthouse guiding you across the plain. The city's magic and mystery fades, however, as you come closer. The famous citadel squats green and un unadorned atop its massive hill, with a city arranged in cascading levels and slopes beneath, like rings of fungi. Fun of fungus choking the last vestiges, vestiges of life from a ruined tree. And that's, and that's, yeah, ooh. Did we see this before? What the hell? This wasn't like, was it like this when we come in, when he came in as Kato? I didn't, I don't remember this dance, but uh, yeah. Closer still, a shroud of smoke above the base of the hill marks the ordered chaos of a military camp. The purple banner snapping in unforgiven plain winds proclaim this sea of tents, the domain of House Aurelian. The siege of Ganazar has begun. Yeah, so that's different. Yep, find a way in then. The local 40 Thieves' is cat chapter is notorious for its smuggling operations, so you get comfortable and watch the camp and approach and approaches to the city. On the third day, night spot... On the third day, night spots... What? On the third day? 
What? I, it, on the third day night, spot several bearable, visible, barely visible shadows carrying what looks like crates. Okay, maybe you spot... On the third day, you spot several barely visible shadows carrying what looks like crates. Okay. One by one, they disappear into the ground to the left of the Aurelian Isle encampment. Smugglers. Just the men you want to see. Okay, let's follow them. Ah. You reach the spot where the smugglers disappeared and look around. Since you know what to look for, it doesn't take you long to find a hidden hatch. You open it and see a dark passage smelling of dampness and moss. Okay, let's go in. Don't really have a choice here. I smell... Besides the moss and the dampness, a fight. Hmm. You follow the tunnel for 20 minutes, feeling your way around the wall, when suddenly the wall ends. You take a few steps forward and suddenly several torches light up the room. You find yourself standing in a fairly large underground chamber cut out of the rock, surrounded by grim-looking men. And who might you be? asks one of the men. His voice is soft and pleasant. Okay, that wasn't the voice I did. <laughs> and who might you be? His eyes are anything but. My name is Klepta. Lavier sent me to take over and help Azurelian take Ganazar. That's mighty generous of Levy. Lavier, giving away guilds and towns like fucking candy. You get the guild, you really get the town. What the fuck do I get? This is Glabrio. I don't really know who he is. So what do I tell Lavier? That's your fucking problem, not mine. I don't owe Lavier shit. I hear rumors that he's in bad with the, noble now, with the nobles now, which does explain why he's so he eager to help all of a sudden. But he's so fucking helpful, he can do it in Madaran, not here and not at my expense. So I think Labrio is the leader of the Thieves Guild here. They are very sneaky in Ganazar, because I don't remember seeing them as Kato. Huh. So now what? Now? Now you can work for me if you want. If we aren't good enough, go back where you came from. Your call. Okay, I'll stay. What do you want me to do? Come to think of it, Levier had the right idea. I don't really care whose arse is sitting on the throne, so if the Aurelians want it that badly, they can have it. Make no difference to me, but they will make a deal with me, not fucking Levier. Are we clear? Well, whatever you say, boss. Good, good. Now, I don't know what Levier had in mind. I suppose, we, I suppose we can open the gates, but it will only get them into the low town, but no further. Castle Ganazar is a hard nut to crack. If they want to sit around for months, I'd rather they do it outside our walls. So what we need is a way into the castle itself. That is something we can take to the Aurelians. We? Well, you seem to be rather chummy with them, aren't you? I'll give you 20, 20 points, which is more than what Levier's paying you. 20 points? What the hell is that supposed to mean? 20 points to negotiate a deal? Is that what? I don't know what a point is. That and to find a way inside the castle. So, in other words, I'm doing all the work and getting paid only 20 points? We split it evenly, 50-50. We'll see. Well, oh, let's see, he says. You have 20 op We have two options. Do a bit of work and earn yourself 20 points, or do nothing because you're so fucking busy and earn nothing. What's it gonna be? Well, alright, so how am I supposed to find a way inside a castle? They say that the tunnels we use were built by house crosses long before the war. If that's true, they must lead into the castle. These tunnels are old and dangerous, and over the years, quite a few people went in and never came out. Maybe Crassus got s guards got them. Maybe something else did. I think it's time we find out just how deep these tunnels go. Something else got them? Didn't I just tell you that these tunnels are centuries old? That's a fucking hazard in itself. Plus the traps, the guards, the rumors. Traps and rumors? You know how people are. Someone disappears in a tunnel, it must be some creature that got him. Maybe he broke a fucking leg, maybe the ceiling fell on him. Snake bite? No, that has to be a monster. All teeth and claws. Okay, so yeah, but I, I need some time to prepare. Okay, so we are in the catacombs. New area, ladies and gentlemen. New area, I haven't seen this one. This is... What the hell? This is very big. Is, is this like the... Uh, am I in the right place? I can't open the map, but I can look at my quick save. Ganazar TG, what's that supposed to mean? Let me save. That's the save right there. Let's look, let's look. So, Ganazar TG, Thieves Guild. Yeah, that's the TG. TG. Yeah, we are at the Thieves Guild right now. We can enter the city through there, even though I don't know where that will lead me to. But uh, I think that for now, that's about it for this episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been The Age of Decadence. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sharing with me 
with this experience, I'm loving the game very, very much, and I hope you are as well. So, guess I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs>